Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's um, November the 21st. We're at uh, Oxbridge for the second time. We are running the Piccadilly line. We've got a couple of joiners with us, helping us along the way. How far is it, Fred? Uh, today is 29 miles, tomorrow 20. Off we go. A cool 30 miles, five hours. Line, isn't it? I feel like steam. Ready to roll. Yeah, ready to roll. We've got a newcomer, Mr. Simon Outro. How are you feeling about today, Simon? Yeah, calm. Jim, how, how are you feeling about running the line? Uh, yes, your debut. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. This man here is a, a what, a three hour 10 marathoner? Is that right? Oh, oh. three hours 12, isn't it? I want people to notice that I've changed the, um, the, the aspect ratio of this camera, meaning it's hopefully nicer to watch. I'd like to know if I'm, uh, do you agree with you? That brings us nicely on to our very first station, Hillingdon, and I remember pushing Freddie's leg right there. Here we are, Hillingdon Station, first station. Right, that's good enough. Picking them. Picking them. Yeah, Rice Lip Station. Rice Lip Station. There we are, Rice Lip Manor. Another underground start. How are we feeling, boys? East Cape. Stina, how are you getting on your third run? Getting easier by the day. Yeah, yeah. And another 25 miles to go. Yeah, easy. Want to know what everyone thinks of Simon's fishing, fishing chile? <laughs> Lots of pockets. Loads of pockets. Lots of pockets. Simon decided uh, in classic Simon Outra fashion against the uh, high-tech rucksack. And instead, uh, let's give it to you in its full glory. Went for a fishing jacket. <laughs> Um, which, is, which is awesome. Uh, it's great to see. When Simon goes fishing, he wears running gear. <laughs> How's that moustache helping you? <laughs> top lip banter. Yeah. A bit of air resistance with that tan, <laughs> slowing him down a bit. A bit of top lip furniture <laughs> for the van. <laughs> Rainer's Lane. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. We did all the others on the metal line. Uh, welcome to Sudbury Hill Station. 10 stations, 10 miles, Sudbury Town. Alperton's next one. Oh, <laughs> 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 okay, that's what is it? Alperton? Alperton. There we are. Mark Royal Station. We're going to get flapjacks. That's a flapjack. Amazing. Mm. What you need. Lovely <laughs> bread. Mm. North Ealing. There's Ealing Common. Tom, good to have you back. How are you feeling? Mate, feeling well. And are you coming the whole way to Heathrow with us? Full swap. I mean, that's pressure on with the camera. Uh, there we are. Back to town, there's a line. Right, oh, there we go. This is South Ealing. Northfield Station. Boston Manor. This is Bonsai. 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 <laughs> Bonsai's found us and he's joined us for a bit of running to Heathrow. Good man. That's, yeah, what, it, that's, that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Hey, yeah, that's flying. That's quite epic, actually. There it is. It seems like we're going the wrong way. Fred, are you sure you're navigating properly? Hey. How are you getting on? Yeah, could be better, could be worse. <laughs> so, so. So, how far do you say you'd go? Oh, seven and a half miles. We're on, we're at Austin. I mean, it's a good effort. Thank, Thank you very much for coming to us. Good luck, well done, Two departures at Austin Station. Cheers, Dino. Cheers, Tom. Here we are. It's a tricky road to cross, lads. Off we go. Uh, how are you feeling, guys? Yeah, good. Right. Thanks, Jim. Can you give us a reason why you're going through this pain every weekend? We're running for the Charlie Watkins Foundation, whose logo is here, and that help young, mainly young men with mental health. So, that's, that's why we're doing it. Yeah, amazing cause. Get donating people. Hounslow East, Hounslow Central. 
Right, there's Hounslow West. Oh, that's a good sign. That's a great sign. It's great to see those, those jets. The blue, red and white of the British Airways plane. How'd it cross? This is not particularly nice running territory, I would say. We're struggling to find Terminal 4. Oh, there it is. There we are, that's Terminal 4. Okay. I'd put a wager on no one having, having run this, 100%. So just to fill everyone in, we are doing Terminal 4, Terminal 5, Terminal 2 and 3, which is one stop. You can't actually get to without going on the tube and going into the airport. We've done Terminal 4, no, it's still about three miles to Terminal 5, which is not that pleasant. So we are probably less than a mile away. The last station has been about three and a half miles. We're currently 27, it's about 27 and a half miles in, and uh, we're almost at Heathrow Terminal 5. Right. We're going up that? Right. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, how are we going to get there though? Well done, gentlemen. Again, it's not a tube to stop, but it's, it's the best we can do. That right there. Well done, well Vlad. Oh, very good. Very good. Amazing support team. Thank you so, so much. Morning, Keith. Morning. Morning, Simon. Morning, Morning Fred. Morning, Gino. <laughs> Uh, how are we feeling? Day two, Piccadilly? Uh, yeah, day two is always a tough one. Uh, yeah. You wouldn't have seen me, I was a bit far ahead yesterday. Yeah. Good morning everyone, it's day two of the Piccadilly line. We're at Turnham Green Station. Uh, we have how many miles, Fred? 20 to Cockfosters. 20 miles to Cockfosters. Long old stint for day two. Uh, mm. But it's going to be gritty. Gritty, but we're going to dig deep. Good boy. Thanks for your support. Thanks for all the donations so far. Very, very grateful. Hamsford Station, number one. Oh yeah, that's Barrett's Court. All right, West Ken. There's Earl's Court Station. There we are, across the road. There we are, that's South Ken. There's Harrods for you, which means we must be close to Knightsbridge. Knightsbridge Station. There's uh, Hyde Park and uh, support team. Green Park Station. There we are, if anyone's interested, that's the, uh, that's the first place I ever worked. Well, the bees. Big up. Well, boys. Thanks for everyone who's doing it. Best sandwich bar in London. Yeah, piggies. Currently in Piccadilly Circus. This is supposedly one of the busiest parts of London. Uh, Leicester Square, well done boys. Come garden. Hope Station. There we are, Russell Square, well done boys. Calloway Road, huge one. Holloway Road, big moment for the Arsenal fan. There we are, the big MI Reps. We're going right over the bridge. This is emotional because I used to live here. Not in the stadium, of course, but near. You can hear it in the garden. We could. Even though Arsenal fans are notoriously quiet. Arsenal Tube. Big one, Jess and Rihanna leaving us. Thanks guys. That's Alice, Simon's wife. Oh yeah, it's Finsbury Park. We've been updated, we're uh, 12 and a half miles in. Been running for nearly two hours, pretty exhausted. We're on the fuel reserves. There we are, Manor House Station. There we are, Turnpike Lane. There we are, Wood Green Station. There we are, that's Bounce Green. There we are, Arnold's Grove. Very little enthusiasm left for these underground stops. Brutal, enormous hill, right at the end. <coughs> Ah, that is really grim. It's one of the grimmest bits of running I think I've done this whole thing. It's the worst part, that is the worst. Oh, yeah, that is the worst stretch of road we've done in our whole run the line. Absolutely grim. Here we are, two more to go. This is Southgate Station. And there we go, the Piccadilly throws us another huge hill and another. Oh, oh. Simon. No way, dude. There are hills everywhere in and around Cockfosters. Oakland Station, penultimate stop, one more short one to Cockfosters. 
Oh my word. There it is, there it is. Oh my word. There it is. There it is. Cock Foster's station. Well done. Well done. Well done. Very good. Well um, done. I'm just going to ram a little bit and then um, George can just edit out anything that's irrelevant. And I'll probably say lots of cliches because I'm quite tired. I just wanted to represent George and Fred. I think for all those who are kind of watching on um, loyally um, but haven't quite experienced what the run's are actually like, they are just disgusting and the sheer amount of grit that is needed um, to get through them is immense. Uh, having run the Piccadilly line yesterday and today um, it's probably one of the most challenging things I've done and the fact that they're doing um, it pretty much every weekend um, is unbelievable um, and I think it ties in really well with the charity that they're running for um, and there are so many uh, principles and um, values and general human um, interaction um, which just ties into to mental health and, um, and into to what the charity Charlie Watkins Foundation is all about um, having people around you encouraging people on and, and being there for you in, in really tough times when it's, it's really tricky and, and just seeing people come out to support, support them and, and, and us has been phenomenal um, and it just makes such a difference and I think it all just just brilliantly ties into to an amazing cause so I just wanted to, to say something on their part because they're incredibly modest and um, they deserve um, all the praise that that they get and um, yeah and encouragement to keep going cheers Thank you.